All right, today we're gonna talk about frame rate. I'm pretty sure you know what frame rate is. You know that there's 30 uh, frame rate per second, 60 frame rate per second, 120, sometimes 24, or even 5. You see, it's, it's a lot easier when you record something and and you keep it at the same frame rate. Like you record it at 30 frame rate per second and a majority of your clip that you record is 30 frames per second it will make it easier on on your editing because if not it will be all over the place you know you will have one video is 30 frames per second another video is 60 frames per second and you try to put those two videos together it, it, it won't work out that way because like for example here's what happened let me put a video you go add this video source is actually close to 24 frames per second. Right? If you put a 60 frame per second, you notice how this is all lined up together. Right? That because the audio and the and the source is actually 23.98 frames per second. So if you were to as a video that is like let's just say 60 frames per second and you notice the audio and this movie is, is not aligned together sometimes you see this though the way to fix this of course you just need to find out you know what is what is this source frame so um you can also check it well, let's see but anyway, you get the idea. This is pretty much it's a 24 frames per second. If you were to put 60 frames per second, it will be totally out of uh, our control. So let's just say you want to put a 24 frames per second onto a 60 frames per second video. You could actually just convert that to, you know, say for example. Uh, well, let's just say you to convert this. Say, let's just say 60 frame per second. You just set this to 60 frame. This one or this one? You gotta make sure. So let's just say this one. And you know this is, you know, too long. And uh, what you want to do is stress this part. Way. Make sure okay. Okay. okay, and then uh, what you do is you add speed control. And uh, just take out the calculator. So your original frame was what is it? Twenty three ninety eight. Twenty three ninety eight. Yeah. All you have to do. This is the source number of the original clip, right? And you have to do is divide the output that you want, which is 60 frames per second. 60 frames per second, and you get 0.399966. So all you have to do is just go to the speed control, go down to. Check that. Make sure this is checked. Make sure this is one. This is one. And then all you have to do is put in this number. Point zero three three nine six. Okay, 
Okay, when you play it back, you will notice. See, it go all the way to the end. There, it match. So all you do is just make sure, you know, you uh, beginning to end, and then you just animate it. So that will convert this. 30 frame per second with a 30 frame or oh, 24 frame per second or 23 98 24 frame per second and it will convert it into 60 frame per second say you could do the opposite it says 60 right let's put that video again Okay, this is originally 20, yeah, 24 frames per second. And say you want to convert it to 15 frames per second. Alright, let's go custom. And then you type in the frame you want. Let's just say 15, oh, five, 15 frames. Okay, that's 15 frames per second. And the audio became shorter. It became longer. So what you wanna do? Same thing. Go speed control. Okay. Alright, speed control. Your calculator. Uh, you put the source frame, which is 2398. You divide by what kind of frame rate that you want to put out, which is. 15 frames per second so you divide by 15 and you will get 1.598 which means it, it will speed up the videos so when this is long you want to speed it up so when you speed it up it will shorten the frame rate it will go through the frame rate faster so you go speed control like what you did earlier click this off make sure this is checked make sure this is 1 Make sure this is one, and all you have to do is put in this number, 1.598. There you go. And when I scroll this through, this should be the end when I reach to right here. See, this is the end, right? At first, if you were to put this, you don't have this. This is not the end. The end is actually right here. Right? See? You see the difference? So, if you were to put this number, 1, the end is no longer here because it match, match it with the audio. This is audio, by the way. If you, if you, if you can see, it match it with the audio and it comes to the end. There you go. Now, all you have to do, like this did earlier, make sure you, you know, you put start is, start is 1, and then the end will be 3, 9, 3, 3. Okay, speak, if you animate this, it will cut here, because you just end here. So you animate this. So when you animate this, pretty much you, you convert your 24 frame per second to 15 frame per second now with your other other clip that's 15 frame per second you can put this 24 frames per second with the 15 frame per second make sense i hope it makes sense okay because i'm not really good at explaining but i'm trying my best to to you know to help you understand how you can mix different frame rate together you know a lot of time this happens because one clip you want a slow mode and another clip you just want to have like the the dealer look you know like 24 frame per second a lot of people like to use 24 frames to get that motion blur you know and then uh, some people just like to slow down but you cannot do slow mode that great with 24 frame per second or 
you must have at least minimum 60 frames per second to do a really nice slow mo. The higher the better, of course, you know. So, yeah, this is how you uh, mix two different frame rates together. So, if you have any other questions, leave a comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe. I really needed that. And um, thank you all for watching. Take care.